My name is Eliza Kent and I'm a religion professor. I teach classes on Hinduism and the uh, Indian religious tradition. I was really pleased when Vijay Palaparthi and Nalini Prakash agreed to come and do a Bharatanatyam performance here and also to teach uh, some Bharatanatyam classes for our students. <laughs> So the, the things that I really like about this Bharatanatyam is that it's really, really expressive and then it tells stories. So this is like the, the very thing that struck me much because if you know all the movements and the gestures, you can really understand the story and the plot and they can tell a lot of things and it's so different from the classical dance we're used to. The reason why this uh, performing art of Bharatanatyam is so spiritual and religious in nature is because it originally originated in the Indian temples in, of South India, specifically in Tamil Nadu, the state of Tamil Nadu in India. Um, this dance form was performed by women called Devadasis, the literal meaning being Devas or God and Dasis or the servants of God. For me, I think the most exciting part about classical dance is the choreography. Um, I really feel energized by the ability to create dance, create movement. I'll just be a